Hi guys and welcome to another video on Sonal's Live. So obviously as you can tell it's a little bit different today's video and I am here with the one and the only Rocky Romero. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I, I'm wonderful. Thanks for having me on this uh, on the platform. I'm, I'm, I appreciate it. Well obviously we're in a crazy time right now and we're in the pandemic. What have you been doing the few months and how have you still been doing it? The fact that it's probably the longest you haven't been in Japan for a long time. Yeah, uh, it's, I mean, I'm not going to complain about, you know, long travel days or anything like that, you know, so the, uh, that that part has been, uh, it's been great. I've been able to kind of rest up and heal up, you know, I, I, this is the first time I've had uh, this long of a layoff since probably like 2004 or five or something, 2005, maybe um, when I had a, a shoulder injury. So it, it's kind of weird, but it's also been like just great, great for my body and uh, great, you know, great to be able to hang out with my wife and my dogs, which has been wonderful, you know, because I, I don't get to see them as much as I, I would want to. Um, and, uh, I, you know, of course, I miss the fans. I miss wrestling in Japan and, I, you know, I miss uh, all the guys, but um, I, I've been busy doing other stuff, podcasting and, and working on other projects. So, so that, that part's been fun, but uh, I am starting to, to get the itch to go back to Japan for sure. And obviously we are in the midst of the best of super junior. And last year you did absolutely amazing, having some amazing matches and obviously the big win against El Fantasma, which I know everyone was excited about. How does it feel being in America and watching show, but not being able to be part of it this year? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I haven't watched as much as I, I should have. Uh, I, I'm going probably going to catch up this weekend. Uh, I, I heard Robbie Eagles and show had an amazing match. That's kind of been the standout, it seems like. Uh, so I'm excited to to see it. I just wanted to make sure I could devote the the time to properly watch it. Um, but uh, I'm always cheering on show. I think he's just had an amazing year and what a breakout year he has, uh, especially with the um, the New Japan Cup tournament that he you know he did so well in uh you know against Shingo the singles match that he had for the never open title um so I mean he uh, you know he's kicking butt and I'm I'm proud for him and I just you know uh, hopefully he'll uh he'll bring the gold home that'd be that'd be super cool and obviously last year we had three members of Rapongi 3k and the best of super junior and this year we've only got one with show how has it sort of been like in terms of not having you have you given any advice to show for maybe to hold the ground for Rapongi 3k I think that's just shows natural kind of thing, you know, existence that he does. He, he'll always want to hold it down, especially, you know, yo and him are so tight. They're like literally like brothers. They've been in the dojo every step of the way together to, you know, winning the tag titles. And uh, I, I think it's good for show because I think he's been waiting for a moment where he can just kind of step out on his own and, and feel like it's all, you know, the pressure of just being, you know, a singles wrestler, you know, for that moment. Um, and I think, you know, it, for him, it, it's just the opportunity, you know, presented itself. And I, I feel like he's, he's doing a great job with it. And I think one of the big things in this tournament that stood out is obviously it's going alongside World Tag League. And there's been a lot of conversation about junior versus heavyweight. And someone like you, who has been a staple of the junior heavyweight division for so long, what have been your views on this and sort of the idea that they are competing? And especially in recent times, sort of the boundaries and the barriers between the two divisions have closed a lot more. Yeah, no, they, they've definitely closed. And I, I'd like to see competition between the two divisions a bit more. You know, um, obviously, I think the never open title was supposed to be that. Right. But then it kind of can be, you know, became this like, you know, BMF title like like more than anything you know in the last couple of years um so i i would like to see that maybe maybe or maybe it's not that title maybe it's a, a new title or there, there's something but like something where it truly kind of like blends the lines of of um heavyweight and junior like like one thing that's been good about uh, new japan strong is i feel like we've been able to see that a bit more we've been able to see heavyweights versus juniors a bit more and we've been able to kind of see the crossover uh and that kind of like happen in a more like organic place than kind of like forcing it like in, in new japan you know like like in uh, traditional japanese new japan you know yeah and i think that's one thing that i've loved about the new japan strong and obviously talking about that 
you and Jay White, you obviously eliminated him in the big multi-man match and had the singles. How was that for you? Because obviously years of history with Jay, he was in chaos, then he betrayed you. How was no. that the feeling when you threw him over the top rope? Felt good. Felt real good. I felt strong. <laughs> no, uh, obviously, like you said, you know, that's a that's a moment that's been culminating uh, in my brain and my heart for for years. So, um, to, you know, and, and there's, a, I think, another perfect example of, of, you know, junior versus heavyweight. You know, of course, obviously, you know, can't deny that Jay White is not one of the best wrestlers, you know, on the planet right now. But uh, to be able to go, you know, whatever, almost 14 minutes with him. I, to me was it was a win in itself you know and, and be able to be able to ha have eliminated him uh you know in in, in the um the five on five or whatever it was then uh you know that's another win in itself so maybe you know you don't win the big singles but you know th there's a lot of uh battles to be won you know so we'll see We've said that you've been in New Japan, but you've obviously been commentating some of the Japanese shows with Kevin Kelly. How has that been sort of doing that while you're so far away rather than the face-to-face -face action that you're normally used to when you're on commentary? Yeah, it's weird. It, you know, it was, it was weird at first, um, just kind of like being excited about it. But the funny thing is like, you know, I'm such a fan, you know, and, and I'll always be a fan. So, it, you know, it, in the beginning it was a little weird, but then it kind of like, oh, I'm just watching wrestling with my friend, Kevin Kelly, it, it, you know, it more felt like, and then, you know, just um, doing it from here, like literally this whole setup, you know, doing it and, and just kind of wishing and hoping that there's no uh, technical issues, you know? So, I mean, one time uh, my internet went down and I wasn't able to get on. So I missed a show. So like stuff like that, you know, um, but uh, I, I'm, I'm excited to, to hopefully get back to the action uh, and actually call it live and in person, hopefully, you know, by Wrestle Kingdom or so, you know. I think that's the thing with the internet. You never know. I've had times where it's just switched off and it's sort of the unpredictability of it all. I know. It's terrible. It's terrible. I just bought a new internet service, so I'm hoping that that works a little better and there won't be issues. So. And you've done these shows, you've commentated them, and what has been your standout show since obviously new japan has come back in japan like has it been a certain show a match or something in particular hmm um i mean i thought the g1 was just like a huge success in in like a lot of ways just not only was you know there's some awesome matches and and you know ibushi getting you know that you know that big win second year in a row those kind of iconic you know but um i i think just kind of what a crazy year it's been it kind of just felt like g1 was normal for once you know or at least our version of normal um you know obviously it wasn't there in person and, you know, and wasn't traveling and doing it, you know, like how, you know, I like to do it every year and it's like a, a like a thing that I look forward to. Um, but I don't know. It's just like, it, it was, like, it just felt like a win, you know, like, Hey, this is cool. This is, this is kind of normal. This is like what we loved, uh, you know, what we love about new Japan and we're doing it and fans are there and there's a quite a bit of them. And I don't know. So uh, I don't know. Uh, and match wise, I don't know. There are so many good ones. Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's been a oh, lot, you know, considering uh, it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, um, you know, I've been watching more strong because that's what I've been kind of been on to. So, I mean, uh, Fred Rosser versus Tom Waller was a pretty fun, wild match that I wasn't expecting to be so good. Uh, that's that's a that's one I'll plug. And I think like, yeah. that's the big thing is that we're seeing all this new talent. And obviously you are from the original LA Dojo. How has it been sort of seeing this new crop of young lions and sort of being like that standard bearer for what an LA Dojo graduate should be like? Uh, I, you know, I'm just really proud of that whole group. They're they're They work their butts off, you know, in the gym and like, and still, you know, obviously it shows they're, you know, they're in phenomenal shape and, and, uh, you know, it's just a grind to do that day in and day out, you know, you know, cause I, I've been there and I've done that and I know how hard it is and how, how taxing it is mentally. Um, but it, it's been cool to see like, you know, a guy like Clark who, a, you know, a year ago had like a J cup opportunity, but then now is like 
on strong, you know, he's just like been awesome. He's like one of my favorite people to watch. Uh, you know, Carl had another great um, kind of breakout summer, you know, that was really cool uh, to see him do that. And, and he's, you know, he's definitely shown that, uh, you know, he, there, there's some, there's some glimmers of, of, of some star power in there. So um, uh, there's, there's a couple of new people that, that are, will be adding or joining or something. So, so we'll see who, co- who else comes out, but uh, I, I'm just, I'm really proud of the guys. I think they work really hard and, and uh, you know, I'm excited to see what what's next for them. And these guys are just making their start in New Japan, but you've had so many matches, and I know it's going to be impossible because it's been such a long career. But what matches for you stand out, whether it's the singles or in your tag teams? You know, definitely like the the Elp match. You know, ELP match from last year was it was obviously a big standout. Um, you know, because it's funny because I, I feel like you know most of my success really came before new Japan got really popular in, in the West, you know? So um, it, it's kind of weird. Cause you know, most people just know me as like the commentator guy, or, you know, the, you know, if you started watching in the last couple of years or the guy who comes out with show and yo or whatever. Um, so, you know, to have the moment with, with ELP and uh, you know, and just kind of show that, Oh, you know, I, you know, I, this is, this is what I actually am as I'm a wrestler, you know? Um, it, it, I think it surprised a lot of people because a lot of people were like, why is he in the tournament? Why didn't they get like, I don't know, somebody cool, you know, (laughs) Uh, but they, they did, you know, so uh, I I thought it was cool to, to surprise people and kind of just let them know that, you know, I'm a, I'm a wrestler first and foremost. And uh, you know, I had a lot of years, successful years doing this. Um, Another match for me. I mean, I don't know the whole run with, with Rapungi with uh, Rapungi Vice was, was one of my favorite like runs together. Uh, with Trent, Just, you know, so many matches, like a lot of the four ways that we did at the Tokyo Dome, you know, um, I mean, just probably every single match we had with the Young Bucks was was something memorable in some kind of way. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think that those are those are some of my, my more recent, like, favorite uh, career points, I could say. And you were talking about your matches with Trent and obviously at Wrestle Kingdom, and it's coming up soon. <clears throat> For anyone who really doesn't know, what is it like to be at Wrestle Kingdom? It's uh, it's it's awesome. Yeah, it's it's really cool. You know, uh, you know, obviously, it, it you, it's just such a mega event, right? Like it really is. You know, like I guess the only thing that you could really compare it to, it, you know, is something like a WrestleMania, maybe you know, type <clears throat> thing, because it, it's such you know, ton of people. It's in a huge arena or a huge stadium, you know, I should say. And, and, uh, you know, you wake up and you're kind of like a little jittery, like, okay, today's, uh, today's the big day, you yeah. know, so <laughs> something's going to happen, you know? And, uh, so, you know, and, you know, taking the, you know, there's like a, there's like a special tunnel that goes from the hotel to the, to the Tokyo Dome. So like just kind of that whole, you know, going through the tunnel, it's just like a, I don't know. It's just, it's like, it's just, it's, it's something that you, you wait for all year. It's like this mega anniversary and you're just kind of like excited for it. You get a little nervous, you know, but like excited and you know, like you can't wait to, to be a part of it and, and just kind of being like all eyes are on new Japan that week. You mm-hmm. know? So it, it, so it's kind of, I don't know, it, it's almost like a holiday, like, or something, you know, like you're, you're excited because you know that everybody's going to be watching everybody, like literally everybody's going to be watching Yeah, all the wrestlers, you know, all my friends in WWE and people are like texting me and be like, Oh, Wrestle Kingdom was amazing. You guys are so good. You know, like new Japan is the best, you know? So like, it's kind of cool to, um, to kind of, you know, make sure that the company and, and all the wrestlers get that recognition every year. And all the staff, you know, and everybody works their butt off the whole year just basically to get to that moment, you know. So uh, I don't know. I, I, it's it's such an amazing feeling to go out, uh, you know, and be in front of forty thousand people or you know thirty thousand people. So uh, it, it's really, uh, you know, unlike any other. You know, it's it's just crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I got to wrestle Okada when he was like 16 and I beat him. So I have that win, you know, somebody like Hiromu, who, uh, you know, I've never had a singles match with, uh, you know, I'd like to, to have a singles match with 